Hi, and welcome back to Jimmy Gaming and Planet Crafter. We are moving right along. I just got notification. Oh, look at that. Our blue sky is 11.6. So we'll have a blue sky as soon as that reaches 100%. Now I just got notification that I can make my drill number two. So that pushes out 1.5 of pressure. So in order to meet up with this 4.5 on the heat, we would have to create three of these drills. So it takes iron and two titanium. So that means if we're creating three, we need three iron and six titanium. So let's see. All right. Let's see, we'll put this out here and if we can get our pressure up to 4.5. So let's put them, oh, they're a tad bigger. One. Two, let's take this one down and we'll make one more. Three. So now let's go back and check. There we go. Well, our heat's 4.80. I don't know why it went up. It should be the same. But in any case, oh, I was looking at heat. Never mind. Pressure, 4.50. And the heat actually went up by 0 0.30. That's interesting. All right, so now we want to get our oxygen up. In order to do that, we'll have to make some of these veggie tubes. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put them, maybe in the corner. So we need to, um, uh, we'll just make one for now. And that'll take it up to 3.6. Actually, if we make two, it'll take it up to 4.8. So we need two ice and a magnesium. One, two, three, four, one, two. So if we're gonna make two of them, all right, so let's do it over here. We'll stick them here for now. Oh, we need another silicon. And then we'll put these seeds in for now because we don't have any others. So probably didn't get it up to par, but oh, there you go. Look at that. Couldn't get any better than that. So our oxygen, heat, and pressure are very, very close to one another as they should be. Oh. What's this? Oxygen tank three. Did we create that already? Oh, and it seems that we got our exosuit too. So yeah, oxygen tank number three is available. Okay. I thought we had gotten it already, but I guess not. All right, so we need iron, titanium, aluminum, Ooh, we're gonna have to go get more of that. Uh, did it ask for a silicon? I don't remember. Well, we'll just take this just in case. Uh, and oh, we don't have any titanium, so. Oh, we must have had one on us. So we have to take our oxygen tank off again. There we go. Put that for now and let's see what it takes to make the exoskeleton two magnesium titanium silicon Ugh. my memory stinks because i just can't remember 
titanium, mag another magnesium, and then we're going to have to go outside and get a titanium because we don't have any more. And because all of our numbers are similar, the pressure, heat, and oxygen, our planet's going to go through some changes. Nothing that we'll really be able to see, though. All right, so we have to take this one off. And we drop items because we didn't have the room for them in our suit. And we didn't make this microchip. Was there? Oh, and we didn't make this either. Well, we don't have the fabric. And we have to go get aluminium because I believe our box is now empty. Yeah. We need to get some more aluminium. So we need to get the parts together for our housing. So that's one, two, three. The silicon. And we need another titanium which we don't have it so let's eat drink and get another titanium so we can go over to the aluminium field and get more aluminium and let's just double check before we go to make sure we have all the parts for our housing we do Well, let's run over here quick. I promise we will start going into the ships. But I was kind of holding off until we had the bigger storage units because the stuff that we get from the ships is not going to fit in our base right now. And I don't relish the idea of putting more blue uh, storage compartments down when we can have so much more room with the larger storage unit. Oh, where's the aluminium? And I know that we put the beacon down yesterday. And I don't see... I don't see it showing up on my map. In fact, I didn't even see it on top of the building. And I know that we put one up. So I'm not sure. Maybe I forgot to save the game before I left. But that really shouldn't matter. I mean, I would think the game should save upon departure. Goodness gracious, where's all the aluminium? This is supposed to be the aluminium field. Looks like we're in a separate biome now. Hmm. There's one. I'm not seeing too much sparkly here, game. Give me some more aluminium, please. You know, if there's ice laying here, I'm going to grab it because I know we're going to need that too. But still, okay, that's another biome. Um, this is the first time I've been in the aluminium field where there's really not much aluminium. Living compartment glass, which you can put 
on the floor and our communication antenna now. The glass uh, screen transmissions. The glass uh, piece can be put on the roof or on the flooring of your base. Well, if I can't find the other stuff, I'll just take this stuff for now. And let's grab our oxygen. Oh, and I just seen an aluminium right there where I placed this pod down. But I won't have room to pick up my portable because I need at least six bases for that. Yeah, I don't see the beacon. We did put the beacon down yesterday, did we not? Huh. So, let's change this around a little bit here. And that gives room for the other items in the back, which means I can bring this one over there. I really hope we get the extra storage unit pretty quick. I need another piece of iron to make my housing. Okay. So, we'll eat. When are we getting the food grower? 12. Oh, so we're going to get that shortly. And then we can start growing our own food. That'll be sweet because it unlocks at 12 PPT. So we only have 0 .06 to go yet to get it. So we'll wait on that until we can make it. And then we'll make some food growers. But this here bothers me. We, we made the beacon. I know we did. Oh, don't harp on it. Diva, just do it. So let's get aluminium here. Now we can make our food grower. And let's jump back up here again. We have to put this higher. To put our beacon up. Yeah, we stuck it right here. The meteors do not break them, so I, maybe I just forgot to save the game, but I thought, I don't know. We'll put it back up here because we changed it to like a greenish color. And let's save there. So now it should stay, it should not disappear. Now if I put another one down, we're going to run out of power. Yep. So we can only put one down for now until we put some more uh, energy outside. Alright, let's... It's not the best food to plant, but at least it's something. So we were at 16 point something, so we should be down to one. Mm-hmm. So if I make another solar panel, that'll give me enough to make another one of the growers. So I need two cobalt, silicon, and magnesium. We earned the taller one this morning, right when I logged in, just before we started uh, the video. We earned the T2s, so I took the T1s down and put the larger ones up. Okay. So that gives us another 19.5, which is another, enough power to make another one of these 
food growers. Alright, so now that we're growing our own food, I feel a little bit better. And you get your seed back. So once it fully grows and you pull them out to eat them, you take the seed that we originally planted in here, that's this seed here, well, it will always get the seed back, which is nice. Okay, so now in order to make these, we need more iron. Three iron, silicon, and probably another titanium. Yeah. We need another titanium, which we don't have. So I want to go hit up the bunker. Let's test to make sure we have it all. We do. Okay. Um, that's too high. I can't jump on that. There. And we'll put down a storage. I don't care which way it's laying. Just as long as it's down. And we'll put that and that there to hold it for us. And let's go down here and see what we can find. Another seed. Our ship has crashed for unknown reason on this planet. Many of us died on impact. Some of us died on the surface. I'm the only one left. I tried to survive, but this land is too hostile. My health is getting low. I'm going outside one last time to try to find some water. Poor fella. Let's see what's in here. Oh, our second piece of fabric. Another microchip. Another seed. Plenty of food. Oh, yes. Look at this. Squash and beans. Two super alloy. Oh, this is a wonderful find. Let's... No, that's going to give us three. So we're going to lose some. They're going to fall on the ground. So we'll leave that there for now. Oh, this is awesome. But unfortunately... We don't have six spots to pick up our temporary housing. So that means we're going to have to use an oxygen on the way back. So we'll take that extra oxygen with us and leave our housing here and pick it up later. Because I'm going to take all these items back to base. And our Terra Formation Index up at the top right is at 43.32. If I remember correctly, when it gets to 50, we'll be getting those larger storage units. Which is what I am waiting for. It'll save a lot more room. Well, not really, because I still have to put down the same amount for... For what we currently have down the ground it's just that each box is going to take up the same amount of space but it's going to offer so much more storage so once these grow these are only worth 35 points, health points, when you eat them. They come in handy more so when you have the bio lab and you have to make things in the bio lab. But for eating purposes, this seed will be worth 60 health and this will be worth 40, which is the same as the space food, which is 40. Um, and then these are worth 35. So if you're going to eat anything, 
eat the squash and if you can let your health get down even lower then you can eat this bean which is much better so we're going to start running out of room in this special box here and there is another super alloy over here and we have a bioplastic nugget hmm interesting base is getting a little crowded we need some more rooms I was kind of holding off for that big compartment that I want to place in here but yeah we're getting a little <laughs> a little crowded here let's put the seats here Having the two fabrics now means that we can make our boost that we couldn't make before. Let's do this chip, decode it. Yeah, the mining speed T2. I'm not really thrilled about that. I want the compartment. So now we have one and two, and you probably have to make one before you can make two, which is true, and you need super alloy, and we do have one. But we're not mining yet, really. Hmm. Unless that also accounts for the drill the driller I don't know if that if that accounts for the drill as mining or if they mean me going out there and pressing my button and mining the resources if it's faster I don't I don't recall let me show you what happens when we make the agility boost and we put that into our slot now when I run and jump, no, no, it's a little faster maybe. We really need the jetpack, that's what we need. It says it increases our movement speed, but it doesn't really seem like it did much. Hmm. All right, so we're not quite at 50 yet. When we get to 50, we can make these large lockers. It takes uh, one iron to make the small blue lockers, but it takes three iron to make these big ones. What's next? The veggie tube three at 30. And we get the third drill at 21 so this will be unlocking shortly and what about the pressure okay this is the transmission so we did get a transmission and this is the nuclear reactor so it's going to take a while to get to that so screen transmission and that, I think that's to get our messages so iron to silicon and a magnesium So let's make that one. Oh, we need two silicon. I only took one. Okay. I'm going to put this one here right now because. The other one is the GPS. I actually put it too far back. The other is the GPS, and I don't know. I have it, and I'm just, I have it in my other game, and I'm not too crazy about it. I mean, you know, it shows drill number three. All right, so we have that. Drill number three provides 17 pressure and 0.25 heat. Yeah, I'm not going to put it down right now until I have the ability to put heat down too. And if I put another if I put another heat down right now, that's 4.5 only and this one here is 7.5. 
17. So I would actually have to put more than one down of these. So I'm just going to hold off on that for the moment. And it takes, it, you know, it takes iridium. I haven't gone to the iridium cave yet. We're at 28.03% for our blue sky. I'm not sure how long we've been on. I forgot to time our episode. But we'll wait until we get to 50 of terraformation for the ability to make our larger storage lockers. And then what I think I'm going to do is I'll probably end this particular video and start planning out some design for these larger storage boxes because we need we need a four room and I was kind of hoping that we would get the blueprint for the big compartment and we haven't gotten it yet which means I'm going to have to add some more uh, of these pods down and that means I need to go out and get more iron because we're running low on that and I need to spread out this base a little more because it's starting to get a little crampy for me. So I think with that said, I want to thank you for spending time with me. I'll try to get all these things together and uh, exchanged out for the next time that we do another video. There's our blueprint. And, and then we're going to start digging into some of these derelict ships. I know I promised last video that we would try and get to them today, but there's just so much that you have to do to prepare. And we didn't really have the storage space right now to go into these ships and bring a whole bunch of blue box material back. So I have to get this space set up properly and uh, that means a lot of resource gathering. And I don't want to make you sit here and watch me go out there and pick up iron piece after iron piece. So I'm going to spare you all that nonsense and we will meet again in the next video. So if you haven't joined my Discord server, please do so. The link is up at the top of my YouTube screen. Come over there and join the existing community that we have uh, and help us grow it. It would be really appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, consider doing that as well by hitting the button. And then hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And then please meet me back here for the next episode of Planet Crafter. So until that happens, you take care, be safe, have fun, and I'll see you soon.